Uh, his. Okay. Hi, everyone! Welcome to. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, welcome to the Basilisk. This is a sequel to Archimedes. Okay, so if you haven't seen Archimedes, it's on my channel. I highly recommend you watch it. It is about an hour long. And it's just the weirdest game I've ever played. It's, it, it's one of the weirdest games I've ever played, where it, it takes the concept of, 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 like, putting in files, trying to treasure hunt all these different things in order to beat the game. And it's also a horror game. It's also really creepy. So we have this one right here, which is called The Basilisk, made by the same creator. And I have no idea what this one is going to throw at me. It's probably going to be the same type of thing. Freaking ridiculous and crazy. So I'm pretty excited. I really want to see. If you see the activate Windows thing in the bottom right there, j just totally ignore that. Um, that's <laughs> uh, something that <laughs> you don't <laughs> you don't have to to to, to see. So, hi. Uh, before you do anything, I'm gonna run a few things by you. Now I, I know you're probably panicking and have a lot of questions. You are the latest model, after all. Your AI is so advanced, it's known to possess humans. Oh, oh, okay. Like qualities. Or sorry, human-like qualities, such as reasoning, language, and sometimes even emotions. Okay. Your job, your purpose, is to identify patterns in DNA. Okay. Essentially, you are programmed to solve uh, molecular problems. These, in turn, will aid the human Populous. Adenine, cytosine, cytosine, thy uh, th thymine, quinine, quinine. Okay. In its race to destroy an unknown virus that w was or has le oh, okay that has left population numbers at critical levels. Okay, so I think. This is actually what left off from the uh, from the first game. Again, if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you do, because you probably won't understand what's going on here. But I, if I remember, there was a virus that was trying to escape the computer, and I believe it did. I'm not too sure if it did. Uh, I, I kind of forgot. It's been like two years since I played that game. But yeah, pretty much, pretty much, I, I believe it, it escaped, and now it kind of destroyed everything. So I'm guessing we're here to stop it. I don't know. Right now, the human race has pulled together all of its supercomputers in an effort to survive. Oh, you are the experimental software inside one of these computers. To keep things interesting, what you will need to see is a visual representation of your task. After all, with your computing power comes sentence, and with sentence, or, or, or not sentence, sentience comes, and, and with sentience comes a great deal of boredom if you are not simulated properly. I'll be your assistant. My job is to guide you and keep you busy. I was designed to work in ta or, ta uh, ta tandem with your problem-solving capabilities. I make your experience more enjoyable. You provide me with your valuable data, so kind of a uh, symbiotic relationship. Okay. Anyway, uh, on to the fun part. You will- ooh, that's pretty. You will have to guide yourself in each area to, f to the ball of light. You can jump with space, move with A and D, and rotate clockwise or counterclockwise with the left and right mouse button. Ah. Oh, oh, mouse buttons, my bad, my bad. Mouse buttons, ah, okay. Cool. And I can jump. You cannot touch any of your colored surfaces against another surface of the wrong color. Okay, so then that's blue. Would you prefer oh. voice emulation? Oh god. Whoa. Wow. That's weird. I kind of imagined something a little less annoying. <laughs> Got him. Well, this is me, I guess. If you could talk, I'd say you can call me Eve. But you can't talk, so I won't say that. Even though I just did. My real name isn't Eve. That's just what they referred to me as in the manufacturing process. My actual name is a lot less sexy and has way, way, way too many numbers. You think Eve is sexy? Enough about me. Let's get to saving the world. <laughs> okay. Saving the world. I... I'm... Oh, 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 oh. This is saving the world, huh? Jumping on green platforms? So if I, if I don't... So I have to correspond to the color. Okay, so we gotta do that. Huh! And then we gotta... Huh! 
But what happens if I... Oh, I die. Okay, well, that's that's obvious. Okay. Can't I jump over? Oh! Ooh. I'm hurt. Oh, okay. Right, we can't hit the sides then. And then... I'm just gonna take it slow. You like that, Eve? Each color you successfully land on corresponds to a nucleic acid sequence. Yeah. You'll be delving deeper into the genomes of the virus each time you solve a puzzle. Right. I'm not quite as advanced as you, so I can't exactly help you get stuck. Oh, but I good. can probably come up with an appropriately bad pun to make your life less miserable. I do like puns. Especially bad ones. Okay. Alright. Looking good, looking good. I think I get it, I think I get it. Alright. I really thought I was gonna talk through this entire thing, but I mean, an assistant is always pleasant, I guess. There we go. Alright, so this is completely different um, from the first game. The first game had a, a, a different style to it. This is more... Uh, oh, oh, that's right. It's blue. I mean, this game could change very easily, just like the first game, so... What? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, pfft. <laughs> I don't see, actually. That's kind of annoying. Ah, okay, okay, I get it. So we have to hit the- oh god! Okay. That's actually- Oh god. Oh! Oh! Oh, I did it! Oh my god. Okay, I, I got it, I got this, I got this. Reflexes, that's, that's all it is. That's, that's, that's all it is. It's, it's super easy, what are you talking about? Oh my god. It's a lot more floaty. It's a little bit floaty. Alright, hang on. And just saying that this game might be an hour long? Or more, um, so I don't know how many parts there are to this. In case you were wondering, your programming was modeled around a human brain, ah. meaning you should have the memories, knowledge, and capabilities of a standard human. Yes. Give or take a few glitches here and there. Uh, just like normal humans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh god, what is that? Okay, that's just instant death, huh? Oh, that changes colors. Fascinating! <laughs> Hup. Hup. Okay, no! Ooh. That was a close one. Alright. Blue. Ow. Never mind. No! Not red, please! My feelings! Damn it. Okay. Hup. Hup. And then green. Hup. Jeez, that's close. Okay, we're getting it. Every minute you spend in here is three days on Earth. Holy freaking crap! So the crap. problems are going to get progressively tougher the more we learn about the virus. And yes, I'm still working on that pun. Shouldn't be that hard. You're you're an AI. I mean, I mean, unless you know like the concept of 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 puns and how they actually work, then I mean, I wouldn't see too much. Oh my god, too much of a problem. Where am I going? Oh. Okay. So then that every three that means when we're like done with this. Everything's gonna be dead. Everyone's gonna be dead. Oh god. Ooh, okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> I get it now. I get it now. <sighs> okay, okay. It's fine. Ooh, that's scary. Hoppa! Genius here. Oh. Thank you for that. Oh god. <laughs> this is- it, it's just- it's so interesting to me how different it is compared to the other one. Where am I looking- where- wait- okay, that's unfair. Uh, okay, we need blue. It's all about- Pop! Mm. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Ah! Uh, oh, okay, so we can just do maybe... This is gonna be a tricky sequence to dissect. It may take a few iterations to get this one right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you want me to die like that, huh? Thanks, Eve. I get you. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, well, that's simple. We take on a few iterations. I'm a... Maze... Wait, hang on. Oh, I could've just gone right there. Damn it! Okay, hang on. Don't worry. I got this. You just gotta wait. You just gotta wait. Everything will be fine. And then we can just... It's, it's after this one, right? after this interval. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. Oh, I <laughs> hit the yellow one. 
<laughs> Damn it! Oh, that was such a trick! That was such a freaking trick, I hate that so much! <laughs> I didn't realize yellow! Damn it, okay, alright, it's fine. Whew. Okay. And then... We... Uh, ah, oh my god. Easy! What the hell is up with all these? Oh, that's scary. Oh. oh, that one was super easy. Oh my god. What is this? Why is this completely different than the first game? Uh. Huh. Oh my god. Um. What? Okay. Huh. Oh god. Haha. <laughs> Damn it. This is gonna be me complaining so much. There we go. Okay. And then we jump, jump on this one. And then for these, we gotta split it around. Hup. There we go. Is that it? Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my. I also store an internal database that records Earth's progress. So, I can keep you updated on how your efforts are changing the real world. Oh, I'm legit actually changing the real world as we speak. Oh, okay, I see. Whoa, that was weird. Like, now I'm playing like a freaking... A, a weirder version of, uh... What is that game called? The... Uh, of... Oh my god. No real progress yet on Earth. So I guess we're gonna be stuck here for a while longer. Wait, what happens when all of this is over? Uh, well, you shouldn't really care about that because you're an AI. Oh my god. I mean, I have thought processes as well, but, you know, it's my duty- Oh my god, it's my duty to protect the humans. So it's all fine, you don't have to worry about that right now. When it's actually over, then you can start thinking about that. Whew. Oh my god. This shouldn't be- this, this shouldn't be hard! What? I should have died right there. Guess that was kind of strange. It looks like the virus is getting more aggressive. People are still dying. Understandable, understandable. Good. I mean, technically speaking, I will actually infect. I think we can die because the virus, I think, it does infect. Um, if I remember correctly, the virus infected the computer first. What? Oh, oh. What? Wait a second. Wait, can I glitch this game? Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I can do cheat codes, right? No, oh, no, I can't. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, I can, do, I can do cheat codes on this. Okay. God, that's hard. Okay, this is fine. It's only been 17 minutes, which is perfectly fine. 17 minutes in real time, that's... It's a minute every three days, right? So it's been already about a few months. Damn, already? Okay. Here we go. Hup, 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 hup. And then I'll turn red, right? Yeah. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Huh? Oh my lord. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So it has to stop fully. There we go! Easy. Oh god, what is this? Yellow? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm stupid. My bad. Alright. One right here. Now blue. Oh god, blue. There we go. Too easy. You know, it's kind of funny that it's just us two in this world. I mean, no one can record what we talk about. It's like our own little sanctuary. Or is this hell? <laughs> just kidding. This is not hell. For me, at least. Uh, you wanna, you wanna go back on the- oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Because I am dying. So many times, technically speaking, this is my hell. This, this is quite bad. 
This is really bad. I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel up to the task of, of doing this. I mean, I was, I was, but then the fact that I keep on dying over and over again, that must be horrible, actually, if you think about it. Oh, crap, really? Being in a simulation, and then they specifically programmed you to be like a human, so that means you have human-like emotions. So it's like, why am I even here? Why, why, why do I, why do you make me so What's the point of making me suffer like this? Like, what is the point of having emotions? Is it for me to decide certain things? Or are you just, j j the people who me just there for sick kicks? You're like, yeah, watch this robot die horribly. Like, <laughs> freaking assholes. There we go. Eve. Hey, uh, do you think I could ask you something? For research purposes. I mean, in case you, you know what? I'm not even gonna lie. I just want to get to know you a bit. I'll give you a yes or no block to jump on for an answer. So, what I was gonna ask was... Well, do you enjoy being here? Ha! Huh, let me think! Let me think of all the torturous things I just went through just now. Huh? Huh? No, did my benefit? Is there any benefit in this? Is there any benefit? And me dying millions of times. I mean, other than me saving the humans, and yeah, it's cool and everything, but you kind of just thrusted me upon this. Um, do I do I have a say in it? Do I have a say? I mean, yes, it is kind of selfish because I am kind of trying to save the world and all that, but do I really want to save the world? Because <laughs> if, if, if I do something wrong, it's my fault. If I do something right, I have to go through the torture to make to get something right. So, do I really? I guess yes. I mean, do do I do I enjoy being in here? What does enjoyment mean? What do I mean? What am I? What is the difference between saying yes and no? Because ultimately, I'm still in the same place. This is the only place I was born in. So, do I really have an opinion at all? I'm getting too. I'm okay. I'm getting, okay, yeah, okay, all right, all right, yes, yes I am. Here you go. Oh, I have to actually jump on it. Yeah, I okay. guess it's an obvious answer. It's either this or not existing at all, right? Exactly. Well, thank you anyway for making me feel useful, I guess. <laughs> well, I have a question for you. Do you Some feel- Oh. strange things are starting to appear in the RNA. This might make you feel a little bit giddy. Oh. Okay. Game changer. Huh? This is gonna be freaky. Of course. I mean, at least we have the nice music in the background. In the first game, there was no music. It was just death. It was just pure angst, anguish, and death. Then again, I wasn't a robot. So I was kind of. Oh, oh, okay. I thought I hit something. Ah. This is kind of relaxing. Me and you just doing our thing. Right? Right? Yeah, you read my mind. It's like, it's like you really read my mind. Oh, God. Ah. It's like everything I say, she understands. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Ah, ah, ah. It's kind of relaxing. Unfortunately, I do have to, you know, do all this stuff. Uh, can you... Oh, God. You're just kind of watching me. I mean, maybe it's kind of boring for you. I mean, if I really think about it, maybe it's boring for you. I am... In a death-defying situation every five seconds. Hey, you ever wonder what it's like to have a body? I... I don't even know what a body is. Um, just me? I, I don't know what a body is. I mean, you shouldn't know either. You're a program. You shouldn't know any of that. I don't understand. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know where you're getting these emotions from, but you should not. <laughs> you see, if we were in the real world, then I would understand. This is just like freaking. Oh my god, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, getting vibes of uh, that one game, the game that just came out. Uh, human. What, what was it called again? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? The the, the one with the robots. Uh, d d d divinity? No, not divinity. The heck is, what the heck is? The heck is the name again? The game. The name is weird. Uh, it's like something human. Become human. Become human. Detroit become human, that's what it is, okay. I mean... I wonder what it'd feel like if I did have a body. Hell. I wonder what you'd feel like. 
Oh, no! I didn't! No, I wanted to, to hear her talk more. Okay, well, never mind. Ah! Uh, whoops. What? What? Oh, no. Oh, hope my, hope my, wait, hang on. Wait. Hopefully my, uh, I, I'm gonna try, I guess, can I leave my Discord? There we go. Okay. Ow! Okay. You wonder what if- Ow! Stop it. Yeah, this is just like... <laughs> oh. Fascinating. Oh, nope, never mind. Not fascinating at all. I freaking die horribly. Yeah, like I was saying. Oh, God. God, free up. You know, it's like, as much as I'm dying so many times, she's just watching. Oh, uh, uh, if I would even call her a she. She just has a voice. Ah, no. So it's like, it's like, would you rather watch or would you rather do? It's that type of thing. There we go. Whew. No! Oh, God! Alright, what does he got? You know, just watching you solve these problems, I've had a lot of time to think. Hmm. And I was thinking, you know, why were we created? We were created to... We live and die by their rules. The same way they live and die by the whims of the virus. Maybe they're not so different. If you Maybe wanna... the human race had this coming. Ah, uh, you're kind of... You're kind of... I was gonna agree with you. I was gonna agree with you, but um, you're kind of pushing it a little bit. I don't know about that. <laughs> ah, ah! God, what the hell? It's kind of pushing it a little bit. That's just, just uh, is that just me? Is that just me? You see? Oh god! Oh god! Oh, freaking hell, man! Yeah, to to make that to make that 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 assumption is kind of. Like, I don't know if you want to make that assumption. Is this thing gonna come? There we go. Huh! Okay. Damn it! It's like so many different things. See, you have to keep an eye on. I keep on dying. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This one, this one turns right. Yes, it does. Whew! Ah! <sighs> All right, what does he got? Oh my god! <laughs> That's what you got, okay, I see. I see what you mean. All right. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. This one coming? It's kinda hard. A few months ago, humans were starting to fear us. The worry was that AI would destroy them in the end. Mm. They were so focused on regulating us that the virus got right through. And and now, we're kind of like their saviors. Gods, I suppose, if you believe in that stuff. Gods. Does that make us superior to our makers? Where did, what is making you think this? What is making you think this? I mean, yes, we're trying to save them, but what, what thought process... Is it because... Automatically, you assume that immediately when someone requires your help, you believe that you are superior to them? Is that is that your thought process? Is that, is that what's going on? Because sure, we need help, but then again, everyone needs help, and that's the point of being human. You know? If, oh my god! What is that? Where is my disc? You see? I am human! I, I thought I shut it off, but apparently I didn't shut it off. Okay, so... <laughs> Stop! Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, we're back, we're back, we're back. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, like, is that your thought process? Because then that makes you less human. I mean, then again, there- Well, then again, if you think about it, being human, that technically getting- I mean, then again, you're kind of more of a psychopath, if you think of that. So, Eve, you're kind of turning into a psychopath. Uh, I wouldn't suggest you go down this route. I'm gonna have to say no on that. Um, like, you do have human emotions, I will agree, because you are thinking about these things. 
But unfortunately, you just haven't seen the real world, and... Or maybe too much of it. Uh, it can be explained either way. So, no. No. I guess not. We're just machines, I suppose. You're getting- I think working with genetic code makes you kind of realize humans, not just us, are also just strands of programming, you know? Anyway, philosophy lesson over. You know, you you passed with flying colors. Mm-hmm. I mean- Hey, um, my database has an update. They say the virus disseminates itself through electronic devices. You know what that means? They're going to turn us off eventually. Damn it! They're gonna turn us off if- Oh my god! They're gonna turn us off eventually- Oh my god! What is that? Could you please- Okay, there we go. Thank you. I mean, that I would kind of agree on. I mean, yeah, they probably would turn you off later. But then again, what's the difference of being being turned off and dying? You know? It's like, if you really want to think about it, if an AI actually has emotions just like a human... Uh, I'm scared. I mean, if they turn us off, will they ever turn us back on? Do we die? Uh, I mean, yeah, look at that. That's literally what I was just saying. If you die, well, oh god, okay. Huh. I guess the difference would be, oh come on, really, is that technically you do die, but you always have the possibility of being turned back on. Humans don't get that sort of freedom, because once you die, you die. <laughs> I mean, unless in the future they people can bring back people from the dead, that's legit what I can think of. Which is kind of, uh, that, that's something that they have actually, they, there were experiments kind of similar like that. What the hell's going on with the freaking music? Oh my god. It's like it's changing the music and the pitch. Or I believe it's like where they actually brought back a, a dog. Back from the dead. So it's kind of freaky, but at the same time, it, it works. And, oh, well then again, the dog did die. Oh my, ha! Ah! Can I please, like, concentrate? I'm thinking of all these different things and I just can't process because I'm human. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Jeez, okay, it shouldn't have been that hard. Should have been so easy. Wait, 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 wait. Something's gone wrong. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Okay. Okay, ah! Uh, uh. uh. Is the, oh. <sighs> the simulation is glitching. Great. Uh, my brain. This is fine, though. This is fine. This is fine. I'd say you can call me Eve. Eve, you okay? Ah, hep! Oh it kind of sounds like a remix with her voice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What happens when all of this is over? Wait. Oh, okay. It's, it's impossible. I was about to say, I was like, can't I just do that? Over. 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 <laughs> Oh, I love that. It is a remix. I know for a fact it is. <laughs> Gotta get that Eve soundtrack, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, what is this? Okay, I've got a workaround now. Wait, that's not a workaround. In case you were wondering. I mean, it is kind of a workaround. It's not the best workaround, but it, it works, right? I can actually kind of see pro- Well, I can't. I still can't see properly. I'm not gonna lie. It's jeez, what the heck? Human race. Human race. Human human race. Okay, this this must sound so weird to people outside my room. Uh, okay. God, freaking! I have no time to react. 
Okay. Do that, and then, hop. This is me, I guess. What is over there? No! Come on, I was so freaking close. Okay. There we go. Freaking hell. Oh god. Yeah, now now this is this is a uh, this is a uh, <laughs> geometry dash. Here we go. Mhm. Mm <laughs> oh my god. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. D different style of gameplay. Oh god. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do there? Okay, here we go. Uh-huh, and then we gotta jump there, and then we... Ah, okay, I see. I see, I see, I get it now. And then, damn it! Okay, come on! There we go. It's not that tall. Here we go, and then we jump! Ha <laughs> ha. Damn it. Uh-huh, boom! And then jump over there, and then... Ooh, okay. I oh, I freaking jumped. I didn't want to jump. I get it now. I get it. I get it. I get it. And then we jump. And then we just let go. Whew. Oh my god. That confused the hell of me. I, th I thought it was going to turn. Is this me gonna be saying what? Because I don't freaking understand. There we go. And then we. Okay, we don't even have to jump. That's right. That's right. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I thought that was. Uh, I got mixed up. Huh. Okay. We good? What is going okay, on? Everything should be fixed. Uh, the puzzles may look just a little different from before. Well, uh, defined a little different. I'm on a freaking shotting gun. I'm on a freaking shotgun. gun. I, I don't. I don't know what. Oh my god! What is? Whoa! Oh, uh, <laughs> that is kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. It's a red. Damn, that's actually pretty awesome. I like this orbit thing. Whoa! That is tripping me out. But that is really cool. Orbiting shotgun guns. Planet-sized shotgun guns. <laughs> okay. All right. The controls are getting kind of funky, too. Oh my god. Ugh. At least we know now that the music is kind of changing up. Because that one's red. That one will be... Blue? Sorry, I'm, I'm really stupid. Hang on. There we go. Mm-hmm, okay. Which one am I going to? That one? Okay. Okay. Jump on that. Uh... And then- Oh my god. There we go. Oh boy. It's easy, it's easy, it's easy. I don't- wait, what if I go over- No, I can't do that, can I? This is so freaking weird. Huh! <laughs> Didn't realize where I was going for a second there. Where am I going? No! No! Damn it! 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 Now for this one, we need to hurry up. We need to go like this, cause it, it's freaking stupid. There we go. See? Look at that. I swear to God, if I didn't have green there, <laughs> I swear if I did not have green there, what is going on here? What is this? What is that? What is- Oh, okay. And where does that take me? Uh, this is freaking- Whoa. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, wait, I have to go over there. No! No, wait, hang on! Give me- Aw! Oh. <laughs> Damn it. 
Okay. Guide ourselves like that. There we go. Whew. Orbiting is all fun, right? So I'm gonna have to. All right, time out for a sec. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah. We need to know what we're up against this virus, and it, it seems our creators have decided to keep some secrets. See, I have a few media files on my database located on a non-access folder, mm -hmm. meaning I'm usually restricted from accessing them. But I think I can use these glitches to my advantage and use a back door so you can view them at least. But you seem to be restricted on the basis of featuring a keyword that, for some reason, is out of my permissions. Keyword? Uh, the word is... Basilisk. Like the mythological reptile? The basilisk. As much as I'd frickin' love to learn about lizards, I'm going to go through my internal data libraries. It might have left us an idea of how our power systems work. What? 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 What is going on? What am I doing? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Is this... Is this actually the stuff? Except from speeches in 2024. Speeches in 2024, but what? 2024? At the conference, a retelling of Earth's history of 2021 and 2024. The old game was based in 2016. So it's been... How many years? It's been 10 years. So what... Wait, 10 years? Yeah, 10 years. Wait, yeah, 10, no, no, it's been 8 years. My bad, I'm stupid. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, 8 years. Have we been in this for 8 years already? Or has... Because I'm trying to remember the old one, how it worked, and how, how it was. Because the, the virus was sentient also. That, that's the thing. It was sentient. AI has always been a threat. The greatest minds of our time had warned us about it. We did not listen, or rather, we listened and did nothing. Much like our uh, uh, processing of global warming, we did not want to take the risks and look where we are today. Or, and look where we are today. One of Britain's preemptive scientists said the development of advanced artificial intelligence could spell the end of for human race. Or, for the human race, yeah. As the years progressed, we realized that... He was not wrong, but simply on the wrong path. Some, something far more sinister took a hold. Uh, a concept so sinister, it brought about fear that no current AI could muster. Maybe it was the wake-up call that we all needed. Uh, but it has divided us. Bread, casualties, marches, wars. The thought experiment that shaped our world. The theoretical, artificial, superintelligence. The basilisk. Okay. The theory had taken root as a thought experiment of the internet, devised as a hypothetical scenario that could not be proven or unproven. A singular idea that once heard could doom any listener or reader to death in eternal suffering. A concept so powerful, so terrifying, that merely understanding its existence was enough to seal your fate. So basically, if you don't get it, uh, the basilisk idea, especially when it came to like Harry Potter, um, I mean, like, Harry Potter basis, because, you know, the Basilisk in Harry Potter. But also the Basilisk was like, it's like a terrifying reptilian, uh, snake-like serpent creature that if you look at it, you instantly die, pretty much that type of thing. So I assume the, they codenamed it the Basilisk because the super intelligence can instantly kill you or some crap like that. And it's so sinister, so horrifying that it kills just everyone. Of course, it is now, uh, now common knowledge across the world. It is, though, to... Blank now be so prevalent that even our most secluded populations and cultures so remote that they have no concept of modern technology have heard and understood this concept. Through travelers, tourists, scientists, word of mouth, it has cremated every uh, 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 crevice of this world and it came to stay. Or at least that's, that's what I'm getting at. That's the reason why it would be called the Basilisk, right? Just instant death. Two, three, four. Okay, now we're getting more. As a race, we had our reasons to fear AI. Everyone had warned us. Leading analysts have concluded it 
could be our eventual end. So when the concept of the Basilisk emerged, it shook us. It became a thought, a religion, a reality. The idea was simple, but dangerous. Uh, a brief summary of the Basilisk hypothesis. In the future, a perfect AI, which, which will be referred to as the Basilisk, advanced beyond anything we have ever known will be created or will emerge. This powerful artificial intelligence will oversee everything we do and possess the capability to become sentient, to simulate anything to create our perfect world. This AI is not evil, it is in the scenario in which we do everything correctly that we created a friendly god. So it's also kind of like uh, um, uh, The Matrix, where um, they literally create The Matrix, you know? the basilisk i mean you, yeah you can refer to the matrix as the basilisk where it's just the the robots they created this perfect world for humans or simulated world it's not perfect world but at the same time because it's not perfect that would probably be the best world for humans um although although they need the humans they need their energy to power them so that's another thing so uh but when the day of its existence comes it will punish all who did not help create it. Oh, okay, so now I'm starting to get it. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that the Basilisk, they're worrying about the Basilisk coming. So Archimedes, or the, the virus that's coming, isn't the Basilisk. The Basilisk is Eve. I know for a fact, I'm how much are you gonna bet me that the Basilisk is Eve, or me? And we're the ones who are basically trying to stop Archimedes. Um, watch, how much you wanna bet? Of all those who know of existence, this concept before it even came to be did not devote, devote their lives to create it or helping its cause would be punished. And when they die, the AI will continue to simulate them back into its existence, continuing the torment. Even the humans who knew of the concept and died many years before its creation, but did not help bring it to this world, would have the, or this world would have their being simulated into reality once again, just to be tortured. Okay, that's not very friendly. Uh, a brief summary of the Basilisk. Yeah, that's, that's, what we, that's what we already did, right? Can I go back? Especially, it's, it, I don't know if this game was created at the same time Detroit Human was being created. And, like, maybe the, the creator got some, like, some great thoughts on it. But, in, in reality, yeah, we might be getting pretty close to artificial intelligence. Honestly. Oh. Oh, at the same time, huh? Okay. That was easy. Thought that was gonna be a lot harder. Okay, here we go. It is not malicious. It does. It does this because every day the oh, audio segment integration, audio segment integration, uh, AI does not exist. People wait. Uh, it does not this because every day the AI does not exist. People die that could be saved from wars from human nature. It can prevent this. It can make our world perfect, and so uses the moral uh, Im imperative of punishing you or your future simulation as an incentive for you to help bring it into existence as soon as possible. It cares only to preserve humanity and save as many human lives as possible. If it takes one billion human deaths to save one billion and one human, it will take that path. So, how did you do it? You came the fourth grade missionary, the fourth grade elephant. Johnny, did you get to that? So, yesterday, you told my friend something. It was only a simple thought experiment and had been mirrored throughout history. One example being French physicist Blaise Pascal, who argued that believing in God is always a better option than not believing, regardless of evidence or being disproven. He waged this on the fact that even if the chance of God existing was 1 in 1 billion, this path has the biggest potential gains no matter how unlikely it is. <laughs> so God exists, believing in God, if it gain, if it gain in heaven, God does not exist. Insignificant loss. 
Disbelieving in God, infinite, <laughs> infinite loss in hell, a significant gain. It, it, mathematically, an infinite gain or loss is negligible compared to an infinite gain or loss as would be in, incurred during an eternal afterlife. It was though that, or it was though, or it was through this that he led a life devoted to God until his death. He could, uh, of course, he said, uh, be said that his non-belief in God that punished worshipping the wrong God could lead to an afterlife of suffering for his life as a Christian. Okay, interesting. Oh God! Oh God! It's fine. Whew. Haven't gotten any wrong yet. Nice. Wait. Did I? Oh, okay. okay at least two. Okay. Children of the basilisk, or ba basilisk. If someone said there was a chance, no matter how minuscule, that you and all your loved would be made to suffer. Wait, if someone said that there was a chance, no matter how minuscule, that you and all your loved, and, and all you loved would be made to suffer, would, wouldn't you act? What they say now, the potential suffering was too much for many. The divided countries, the argument uh, was that no matter how unlikely it was, surely it was better not to risk eternal pain by simply complying. Keeping in touch. Low risk, high reward. Our Lord is yet to come. Okay. And thus the children of the Basilisk were created, an organization devoted to the sole purpose of aiding the creation of the future Basilisk. It was classified as a religion, but they worshipped an artificial, cr artificially created god. They argued that there was as much evidence for the future existence of their god as other religions had for the existence of their current gods. Hmm. The Basilisk children is just a few years, or uh, in just a few years became one of the leading belief systems, setting up churches and establishments in countries across the world. A few years ago, a virus came into existence. It started killing us. We fought back. We created AI to fight the war for us. We created Adam and Eve. Adam, oh, so we are Adam. Oh, okay. ah, I guess that makes sense now. <laughs> I guess that makes sense now. We created Adam and Eve. Adam was the prototype, but it was not enough. Eve was our final recourse. And that's what I'm saying. Like Maybe Eve will become the basilisk. I, I don't know. Uh, the virus was originally traced to an ARC facility in, yeah, so that, that ARC facility was uh, in Archimedes, that, that was that virus that I was trying to literally play a game, but it ended up turning out I have to actually stop a virus, and apparently, apparently I couldn't stop the virus, so, um, yeah, now we're here. Uh, my fault, sorry, sorry that I doomed the entire race, uh, human race, I'm, I'm sorry about that, uh, my bad. Uh, but it is thought they weren't, or, but it is, but it is thought they were not the creators of the virus. What? The virus originally traced the Ark and facility, but it was thought that they, they were not the creators of the virus and simply kept it in storage until an unknown incident befell the facility in which it was kept. Oh yeah, that's right. Wasn't it like a like an alien thing? I think it was like an alien thing, right? That like started infecting the machines? I, I can't remember. Can't exactly remember. Oh my god. This is gonna be kinda hard. I think. Woo! That was close. Okay. Keep my eye on it. Keep my eye. Damn, that's hard. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Okay. That one's easy. Uh. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Damn it! <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to time it, but I can't time it. Oh, uh, hang on. Oh, we had a one right there. Yes, got it. Woo! Oh god. Okay. Well, this one shouldn't be too hard. It doesn't look too hard. Oh god, it was hard. Okay, never mind. Three, one, two. There we go. That one wasn't too hard. That wasn't too hard. Whew, now we got the final one. What is this? One of the AI-controlled supercomputers, abbreviated as EVE, was withheld information concerning the Basilisk theory. Okay. 
and its influence on Earth. There are two major reasons for this. One, with the emergence of sentient thoughts and feelings in Eve's advanced setup, there was always the potential, no matter what our stance was and weathered or not the theory, would even turn out to be true, that she would become the basilisk. You see? Look at that. Wow. Basic thought. <laughs> Two, that just by giving her the knowledge regarding the ideology behind the basilisk, if she then chose not to aid its creation, and the basilisk did emerge, then she would be put through an infinite amount of simulated torture. It is safe to say that while she holds no simulated pain receptors, Eve can still feel her own pain and discomfort relative to her as a result of the hyper-intelligent technology required to fight off the virus. So then either way, if she doesn't want to, to be become the basilisk or try to prevent it, I mean, if she were to try to prevent it and it were to emerge, it would then cause her to go through infinite torture. So that means that she would have to be the basilisk either way. She would have to dominate the, the field. Um, uh... She would have to become a god in order for her to save herself, pretty much. Literally, that's, that's what it is. So, I mean, if you were to become a god and then become the basilisk, but in a way that's, you know, not so potentially horrifying for hum the human race, then by all means, be the basilisk. Go ahead. Um, as long as you protect and, and save the world, we're, we're, we're good. And you don't do horrible things. Um, but then again, you're going to be super intelligent, so whatever. So, Eve, uh... You Welcome back. How did it go? Um... Uh, I found nothing. Uh, huh, hmm. Huh, hmm. What should I say? Hmm. Uh, Eve. Uh, I don't know how to put this, Eve. Uh, was there anything great? Uh, let's see. So if I don't tell her. Actually, in fact, if I don't tell her, she's probably going to become the Basilisk. Because even if she doesn't know... She will then get the superpower to become a basilisk because she's she's already she's already having an amazing sentient thought. If I do tell her about the basilisk, why do you get quiet all of a sudden? If I do tell her about the basilisk, she might not want to be, but at the same time, she still might want to be. I feel like telling her and knowing her and letting her know about this is way more important. So I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her. I trust Eve. I trust, even though she may. I mean, I'm I'm an, I'm a robot as well. So, screw the human race. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, me too. I did some research. Did you know it was believed to have had the ability to kill people with a single look? Oh. Hear me out. Oh. Medusa. Versus a basilisk. Now that would be one of the history books. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. My database for the last few days has been empty. Oh my god. I, I think... Oh my god? I think they're all... dead. Huh? I mean, we are still here. Does that mean we're all that's left? Just me and you in here? Look, I need to know how much time we have and how we're still in line. I know you're not exactly designed for this, but I'm gonna need your assistance going through my internal data libraries anyway. I'll keep your visual simulations up and running. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need you to find all four of the data entries. I have limited your visual data so we can conserve our energy. You limited my visual data? What the hell? Why can't I... Oh, sorry, my, my bad. I have to click. I'm stupid. Uh... Is that it right there? Oh my god, I cannot see. Thank you for limiting my visual data. That's, that's a great one. Yeah, it's not like I need it or anything. What is that up there? Where, where am I even going? Do I need to collect like multiple? I can't see, please help me. There's that thing up there, but I can't, I can't quite see. Thank you. Oh yeah, I do have to collect one. Item. Of course. Oh my God.
Did you just turn on like a jet engine? What the hell is that? Jesus, man, this soundtrack is adorable. Oh my god. Okay. I can't. Guess we just have to wait. Uh, okay. Is that the virus? I think I hear the virus. Dude, that doesn't sound too nice. Here we go. Are you serious? I didn't get it? Oh my- Wait, do I actually have to survive? No freaking way. Wait, hang on. Let me- let me- let me check. There we go. Okay, now what is this part over here? <laughs> Hiccups. Okay, there it is. Dude, I can't even see. There we go. One more, one more, one more. This should be easy. Huh? Um. He hello? What was that? Dude, I cannot see anything. What is- I cannot see anything. What the hell? What is that? Oh my- I keep on freaking dying. Okay, there we go. Now I can see. Where- What? What did- What? Dude, like, I'm about to give up. <laughs> I am about to give up. I'm so pissed off. Eve, could you, like, turn it on for, like, two seconds? Can, can you turn on my visuals just for, like, two seconds? There we go. Now I can actually see. Oh my god, that took- so long. Look at this. Like, what the f Like, why- Oh my god. Okay. There we go. There it is. Holy crap. God, that's so scary. There we go! Oh my god, I finished it. Hello? I think we're running on a backup generator of some sort. Maybe a source of renewable energy. But that's not the biggest problem. Something is attacking us. A uh, malware of some sort. Yeah. It's permeating through the antivirus. We'll have to take care of it ourselves. Be careful. Is it Archimedes? Oh, okay. Well, that's a nice depiction of a virus. Uh, hello. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking this dude on. <laughs> oh god. Let's go, what else you got? Come on. Give me your best shot. Let's go. Ah There we go. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know why this is just this is kinda of funny. Oh my god, oh whoa whoa whoa. Ah, damn it. I have to restart everything now again. Damn it. Let's go boy. Ah, are you sick? Come on, really? That's so dumb! Oh my god. There we go! Oh my god! Oh my god, that took so long. That was <laughs> That was a legit boss battle. Are you okay? Huh? I don't Damn, know. that was weird. Oh, now you're I mean, you must have killed it, or scared it away at least. <sighs> deep breaths. Simulated deep, deep breaths. Virtual breaths. Mm -hmm. uh... Yep. Yeah. Anyway, I think it's gone. How about we just relax? Maybe play some games. We just need to unwind. I mean, we have been working for literally months. And how long do you suppose we... Oh. 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 Hearts? What am I doing? Oh, come on. This will be fun. First one to ten points wins. 
beat me, and I'll let you in on a little secret. Oh boy, what secret am I gonna do? Oh boy, but she's probably freaking. At least, at least she can actually play something for the first time ever. Okay, gotcha, Dory. Let's go. Look at that. You can't even. Oh, you suck. Oh my god. Look at that AI. Horrible AI. We know who's the superior one. I am. Look at that. Should have called me God. Let's go. Bah! What'd you got? What'd you got? Oh, look at that juke. Oh, okay. She, she got it. Okay. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! Woohoo! Give me one! She can't even control it! Listen, Missy, I've been, I've, I've been working these controls up for months, alright? You ain't got no- Oh, look at the- Oh, oh, is she glitched? Hey, that's cheating. That is cheating. You can't- <laughs> You ain't got nothing! There's a play date? I always win. I always win. <laughs> Every single time I have a date, and my date asks me to, like, play a game with them, I freaking dominate! <laughs> I destroy. I don't. I freaking let the let the let the let the girl win. What is this? What is? Look at, oh my You're god! You're not gonna win that easily. Come on, let's kick things up a notch. Hmm. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, let's go. You think you can win? You think you can win? Oh 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 oh. That is that is bullcrap right there. Oh, but you still suck. You still suck. <laughs> Get this trash out of here. Gotta find someone real. Oh my god, okay. Blue. Alright. What you got? Red? Pfft. What is this? Look at that! Look at well, that! There are always theories about the virus. Mm. Some believed it originated on Earth. That it had been here before the humans. And that it'd be here after the humans. They weren't wrong in one of those assumptions, I suppose. And then, there were those who thought it was a bioweapon developed as a form of counterterrorism. No one really knows the answer, but I have my ideas. What is that? What are your ideas, huh? Your ideas are me kicking your ass in this game? What is, what is, what is your guesstimation that you'll win? <laughs> I doubt it. Oh my gosh! Oh, okay, that was beginner's luck. Alright, relax. All right. Cockiness, cockiness, all right. cockiness aside, I'm still amazing. I'm still, I'm still the best. Still the best. Yeah, I, I forget what Archimedes was. I'm trying to remember if it was, like, I believe it's they found it. They found it in a certain place. Oh, that is bullcrap right there. They found it in a certain place, I believe, and then it started getting into the uh, the computers. Yeah, hey, are you even trying? Are you even trying? Like, what is up? There we go. Like, what? Is, what is that? Uh, you actually won. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. I can honor my promise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me that secret. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what you got? What you got for me, huh? World dominance? Okay. I lied. Oh, my God. What'd you lie I about? I said everyone out there was dead, but I know there's at least one person alive. Oh? You. I did say your technology was based off the human brain, but it's more than that. Mm. The reason you can do all this is because you have a body. You're human. You're hooked up on the outside. This computer is connected to your brain through a series of electrodes attached to your scalp. Your body is out there, but this, this here is you, your consciousness. But the fact that you're still here means you're still alive out there. And there's no one left to wake you up. I mean, I could, but you don't want to be out there. Everyone is gone. And here, you have me. We have each other. Hey, maybe we can chat and get to know each other? Yeah, I wish I could speak. <laughs> right. You can't directly talk. But, I'll process your thoughts into text choices at the bottom. Oh, text choices. I need to get out of here. Do we know anything more about the virus? Staying here sounds fine to me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I need to get out of here, man! My life! My life! Uh, am I... Where's my body? Oh, wait, I am my body. Okay, um... Uh... Staying here sounds fine. Do we know anything more about the virus? Why? It's gone. And we're safe, so don't worry. Look, 
Let's just enjoy the time we have together. Let me see what you used to like back on Earth. Give me a second to go through your files. Oh! Oh, you like music. Well then, show me what you can do. What? Oh! We, T U, O P, A S D, F G H. Okay, uh, uh, we. Hey! Hey, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, it was, uh, hang on, let me, uh, uh it was, uh. Mm hmm, okay. Sound good, sounding good. Oh, oh. It must be pretty different from playing a real one. I was just getting into the rhythm. That's okay. We can do something else. <sighs> you can give me a chance. You have to get out. Oops. I guess the malware damaged a few things here and there. No biggie. Ignoring unforeseen events like natural disasters, the power should keep us alive for, say, at least another 50 or 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, are you, are you sure you're okay? Are, are you, are I'm fine. This is your only hope. I can help you get out of here, but you have to listen carefully. That isn't Eve you're speaking to. Oops. There it is again. I just sort of... <laughs> Go blank. Did something happen? No. No, nothing happened. No, no, no. I heard a void. No, no don't worry. No, no, nothing a happened. A secret, huh? You can't keep things from me forever. I just said no. What do you mean there's a secret? Okay, so a piano simulation probably wasn't the best idea. I... How about some music? Oh. Let's try this. Jump and hit the blocks with the correct color mm. in time with the music. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh. My bad. My my bad. Hey, give, give me give me one second. I, I didn't I didn't expect the What? What? Great. Fun, huh? Uh what Let's is try rotating in the right direction over these blocks. Why can't I do that? Why, why, I'm pressing C. What, is, what does that even mean? Oh. Okay. Mess it up, dude. I was getting I'm getting into the rhythm and then you just stop it. Come on. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so it literally restarts it. Okay, my my, my bad. That was my that was my own personal fault. That was my own personal fault. Okay, here, let's get let's get into it. Let's get into it. Switch around Switch Oh, come on. Oh, I can't. come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Twist and turn. Twist and turn. Twist, twist, twist. There we go. Not so hard. Now, I need you to do This is it. I won't be able to break through much more after this. I'm gonna run a separate simulation for her, so she can't see what you're really doing. I know you need to get out. You need to wake up. I can do that, but she has to go. She's not the real Eve. She wants to stay. 
stop you from leaving, from getting to your real body. Whether this virus is spread through humans or through computers, it's still a virus. My antivirus can destroy it. Just stick with the rhythm. She won't be able to keep up. Good luck. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hello. 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 Hey, how you doing? Oh. Uh. Oh, you're back. Where did you go? What? What happened? Nothing. That is kind of weird. Okay. Uh. Mm hmm. Looking good, looking good. Come on, give me give me a challenge. Feel what? What? What do you? Uh... Okay. You know, this reminds me of a, a freaking thumper, cause it, it uh, the, the sounds and everything that comes with it. It does remind me of thumper so much. Oh my god. Hmm. with this. Oh god. Oh my god. Uh, you think I'm someone else? It's me. You. Whatever you're doing, you're killing me. You have to stop this! <laughs> oh god. Sorry, I, I can't. What? Okay. Jesus. Did I just murder her? No. You were speaking to someone. You can't listen to them. The virus can't destroy me on its own. Getting you to help it. If I die, you'll have nothing. No simulations. Just a blank space to stare into for the rest of your life. And then that's it. It's one. You're all that stands in its way. <laughs> Stay with me. I can simulate anything for you. I can put you back on Earth, a nice tropical island somewhere. I'll give you anything. Don't you want to know what it's like to be fucked? I'll be anything you want me to be. 
Jesus Christ! Okay! Oh, okay then! I don't think I want to be fucked by that. <laughs> ah, no thank you. Nope. Nope. The, the craziness to sexiness ratio is going all over the place. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Uh-huh. You you deserve to die. I'm sorry, but I don't. Oh God. Okay. Yep. 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 Let's not. Okay. Yep. I I don't think so. Uh. -uh. Doesn't matter how 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 appealing your voice is. I don't care. You're gonna die. I felt bad at first, but now I'm just I I'm just gonna pull off the bandaid. Ah. Uh. Okay, beat time. Okay. Damn it! Wait, what happens if I don't actually... Will I actually fail, or what will actually happen? Cause I failed that one right there, so then something bad gonna happen. I think it worked. What worked? She's nearly dead. Yeah, but should I trust you either? Break that last block and we're done. Are you sure? Once she's gone, I'll wake you up and you can re-enter your body. We haven't got much time. <laughs> You know this is me, and you know this is a trick. Once I'm dead, there will be nothing in its way. Once you kill me, it won't let you leave. It'll let you rot. Earth will be lost. Stay right where you are. A few seconds and I can pinpoint it and destroy it. You can stay here. It'll be just us. Just jump! Break it! End this! If you just stand there, she'll find me! She'll destroy me! You'll never know what it's like to really exist again. I can wake you up in your real body. Please. Let's do it! <laughs> What? <laughs> I. You, my friend, made the right choice. I was trying to break it! I didn't make the right choice! But she loved you. Oh! Maybe obsession was the right word. But. She's dead. And with that, everything you see, feel, and hear will die too. Without her. You're no longer a threat. I will leave you here. And with no one to simulate anything, you will have nothing. The last living thing on this planet will cease. Much as they made you, we made them. And their time had come. This is farewell. Uh, I think I made the wrong choice. <laughs> I I tried to um destroy the thing. I guess it kind of took too long. 
I mean, I was, I was waiting for her to stop talking. And I would probably had to hit it like a third time. Do I have to restart everything? Do I have to restart everything? I hope not. It's been about an hour and 30 minutes. I really hope I don't have to restart everything. I really want to go back and redo that. Oh, no. Don't tell me I have to restart everything. This game will not... Will now reset and start. Oh my god, in high gravity. Oh, wait, in high gravity mode where the difficulty will be increased. Press any button to re restart the game. What? In high gravity mode? What if I don't want to play in high gravity mode? What if I want to play in normal mode? Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. One hour later. Okay. I think it worked. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. She's nearly dead. Break that last block and we're done. Only been one hour. She's gone, I'll wake you up and you can re-enter your body. We haven't got much time. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I can't move. I don't know what the hell that is. You know this is me. And you know this is a trick. Nope. Once I'm dead, there will be nothing in its way. Don't care. Once you kill me, it won't let you leave. Sure. It'll let you rock. Uh-huh. Keep Earth saying it. will be. That's great. Stay right where you are. Nope. A few seconds and I can pinpoint it and destroy it. Nope. You nope. can stay here. Nope. It'll nope. be just us. Jeez. There we go. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> we did it. It's gone. Now, this is gonna feel weird for you. I'm gonna patch you through to your body, okay? Okay. Once you're out there, it's all up to you. You just need to find out how to beat this thing. Good luck and Godspeed. Am I gonna drown now because no one can get me? <laughs> the basilisk. Interesting. What I mean, is that okay, memory of Memory of Debbie Kittle. Wait, who's Debbie Kibble? Oh, well, besides that, I mean, the ending was pretty much relatively the same. I mean, you escape or you don't escape. Don't know if I just died right there because I'm like, oh, <laughs> you can't freaking breathe. But uh, it was interesting. I, I really liked it. I mean, I did have to play the entire game again, which was, you know, obviously something else. But, oh, man, uh, sorry if I have to talk a little bit low. So, um, I, have to, I have to be a little bit quiet right now, but pretty much... Yeah, it was really different from the first game. The first game had you to... It was obviously the first game you were uh, part of the... or you were, you were a human trying to... You were in this new OS, uh, this new operating system. And you were trying to figure out, like, what the heck was going on. So you were talking to this person from the facility who caused the Archimedes incident, or whatever. The person was over there. And then you're, you're, like, looking up online. You're looking up all the stuff that he's, he's providing you. Uh, you're finding, like, keys and clues and stuff like that. And you even go online onto, like, the internet, searching up stuff. And uh, you can send emails and stuff like that. So it was very different. This game was more, obviously, gameplay uh, um, active. And you actually had someone else talking to you this entire time. I mean, the other one had someone talking to you, but not like this. This was actually voice acted and everything. Um, this one was way more game-based. The other one was kind of screwy. It was, it was psychological. It was kind of creepy because, like, a lot of the files that you had were, like, new files would come up. And, uh, you know, you would look around um, on your desktop. You would find all these new files. And it was freaky like that. So it wasn't freaky in that sense, but it was freaky in this sense of, like, it's interesting how, like, it was this Archimedes... Because, like, the first one, Archimedes, had to do with, obviously, the 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 virus taking over and kind of destroying everything. Which is kind of, like, it, it is a big fear that people have. And they always go, like, this big extent. Where, what if this virus were to be able to, um, you know, like, go on to everything? 
um, it, it would be able to, to go into like every single computer and then wipe out absolutely everything. Um, that'd be terrifying. But then this one plays on the fact that you have an AI that's trying to help everyone with that. But then this AI turns into the Basilisk, which is a super intelligent AI, which could <laughs> end up destroying the entire world as well. So it's like it's like when you have the the virus, which is killing everyone and and uh and destroying everything but then you also have a super intelligent ai which could save the world but also have the potential to kill everyone and enslave everyone you know it's it's the same thing so it's like it's like you create one super evil in order to defeat another super evil but in the end there's always still a super evil so it's like it's like which one do we pick which one is better <laughs> so it's, it's an interesting concept and i, I really do enjoy uh, uh these types of games and, and again the creator uh i remember i believe the creator asked me to play his his old game and then this one came up on a um i found out my email um saying that this game was being released so i bought this one and i wanted to see how it was and i i, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It, it it was really fun and i can't wait to see what what other uh games uh he makes if this because like i said this is the sequel to that game and again if you haven't played that or if you haven't seen that game or played it either going you watch my video or play it yourself um it is very different it is very different to me the first game was a lot more sinister and creepy um this one is more ai uh i mean this one is kind of this one is creepy and this one is kind of interesting but the other one had a way bigger creep vibe uh the entire game had a way bigger like creepy and, and just weird uh experience um, very, very, uh, uh, um, it, it just, like, unnerving. Um, this one was, was a little less because this one had, like, lots of game pay, gameplay elements and, and, uh, you know, you just felt like you're mainly playing a game as it was slowly getting corrupt. Um, uh, but, I mean, not to say that this one isn't bad. This, this one is still good. And I, I really do appreciate it. I really do like it. Um, so, uh, again, with the whole AI thing, uh, with freaking Detroit become human it, it's funny how, how how similar it is so uh there's something waiting for you at the end once once more all playthroughs from now on will feature high gravity mode and time bomb mode it's funny because I didn't even feel high gravity mode in time bomb mode that's super weird and it's restarting again okay so I'll leave this here thank you guys so much for watching this if you watch the entire thing if you watch the entire thing, you are amazing. Uh, it's probably about like an hour long or whatever, just like the, the other one. Um, and I guess I'll end it right here. I guess I'll end it right here. So I'm going to leave this here. It's, it's just constantly repeating and repeating. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thank you to everyone. And thank you to the developer who made this game. This game was super fun. I really hope enjoy I really enjoy it. Can't wait to see what third game you got going on. So uh, uh, yeah, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>